As always, with these My Little Pony videos, I'm gonna let you know that I've watched the first couple of seasons, which means I've heard the songs from the first couple of seasons, so if you're wondering why songs like This Day Aria or Winter Wrap Up aren't in this video, that's why. And as always with these My Little Pony videos, even if I put that right at the start, there's still gonna be dozens of comments saying, why didn't you do This Day Aria? What's wrong with you? <laughs> so I guess screw it. If you wanna comment that just to mess with me, feel free. <laughs> I think this is the third video I've done on Friendship is Magic songs specifically. I've also done a couple of videos on Equestria Girls, but I've got to be honest, these days I am coming in with like a mega bias because it seems every time I've just been impressed and blown away and I don't expect anything different this time, so I'm coming into this already expecting it to be amazing. Although I guess being ready and excited isn't really a negative thing. Before we start though, I thought I'd let you know that I upload some uncut versions of my reactions over on Patreon. You can also hear me swear fully uncensored over there if that's your thing. There's a link in the description below, as well as a link to my Discord server, which you should join. I would love to see you there. So the first song is called In Our Town, in brackets, the cutie map. Oh, uh, cutie mark. Is it a map to cutie marks? Or does it have to do with the cutie mark crusaders, maybe? I can't even see who's going to be singing. I wonder if it's going to be like someone that completely out of left field. Heads high, pony. Oh. Marching proud. Well, is it? Oh. All okay. together now. <laughs> I was like, oh, is it gonna be her? And then I saw the main six behind, so I thought, no, it's gonna be the main six singing, and then it immediately cut away to her again. I can't remember her name. So, wait, why are they, they all have equals? Oh, is it like, nobody has a cutie mark sort of thing? No pony left behind. Everybody has an Life equal sign. Why does this seem fake? Life is so grand in our town, we're always filled with cheer. Like, no, that is, that's the face of someone who's being held hostage. Please help me, there's someone to the side holding a gun, making me watch my little pony. You never have to look around to look know around. that we're all here. We, what does that even mean? We never have to look around and know we're all here. We never have to look around and know we're all here because we are all held captive. We are always here and we are always one. We don't have to wait to uh, find out I was saying that jokingly, but... Maybe. To find out our destiny is just to emulate? Like, is just to copy. Our destiny is just to... Copy one another? Let's see those big happy smiles. Yeah, it's so fake. Smile like, oh own. god. Our cutie marks the same because we do not separate. What even happened? By more than name. We don't separate ourselves by more than name. no individuality. Nobody can be any different. Everyone must be the same, just a different name. And also, you know how else everyone's going to be the same? They do this. Don't I look happy? <laughs> it put Dash's face. This is just how I feel about watching this song. I mean, I guess they sound kinda happy. You see, now everybody wins. Everybody wins because everybody loses. We're all equal here. No one I is I wonder though, see, so she's like, we're all equally here. Oh, life's so great in our town because everyone's the same. We don't distinguish anyone except by name. And yet, hmm, she's the one singing. She kind of feels like the leader. Everyone's equal, but some people are just more equal than others. And no one shakes in fear. She just changed her hair. What? Her pinky is like eyeing. She's sighing like, hmm, creepy. You can't have a nightmare. What the actual f <laughs> I know that My Little Pony can tackle some weird and intense stuff, but I don't think I ever would have expected hearing the line, you can't have a nightmare if you never dream. That is just so terrifyingly and utterly dystopian. And now I can conclusively say that, yeah, of course, I definitely trust them when they all say they're happy. Other ponies argue. Do you ever wonder why? <laughs> I mean, it's honestly like the selling point there is kind of like, hey, we never argue. Uh, you know why? Because no one gives a shit about anything. Actually, we're all just mindless zombies who have no sense of identity or sense of self. We just kind of float through life all thinking and feeling exactly the same. And you know, who needs to argue? Who needs to argue when you don't think? When you think your talent's special, you don't see eye to eye. There's just too many differences. <laughs> That lead to disarray. But 
Oh. Wait, was that person dancing differently? Oh yeah. And then, and then whoever this is, I don't know their name, was just like, hey, you, what, you think you're special? You think you're allowed to dance differently to everyone? <laughs> You need to go back to the re-education camp. Like <laughs> I love how they're all just like so unnerved. No, don't dance, Fluttershy. <laughs> me, me as Utopia. Hmm, I don't know about that. It's, it's wild as well to see them use cutie marks like that because aren't cutie marks some like natural inherent display of their sense of self and identity and what their life revolves around? And they're not even allowed that. Again, who's controlling this? Is it her? Like she seems like the leader. She just like brainwashing people. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Give up our cutie marks? No way! Rainbow Dash, don't be so rude. I don't think we should judge Rude. them. They all seem perfectly happy with their choice. Yeah, so happy. We have no judgments here in our village. It's so creepy. Each of us was confused once as well. Oh, so it's a cult. Okay, gotcha. Is she for real? When we were sent to this village, we assumed it was to help in some way. But, well, it doesn't seem like you need it. Really? Really? You stumble across what is effectively a cult compound, and you're like, nah! They're happy, giving up everything in order to please this person. And anytime they try to do anything differently, she comes over and vaguely threatens them. It's like, no, get back in line and dance properly. Dance like I want you to. Have you considered perhaps that you might have been sent here so we could help you? That's so culty. No pony has ever come to our village and wanted to leave. That sound. <laughs> We're just going through the cult checklist. Enjoy our little corner of Equestria. We're all quite fond of it. No doubt you will be as well. Oh, okay, she's so evil, it's gotta be like a brainwashing thing. When the rest of Equestria sees that a princess gave up her cutie mark to join us, they'll finally understand what we're trying to accomplish. Trying to accomplish? Like, you know, yeah, it, it is a cult. I was right. The only thing I don't know is what kind of cult. Like, may, maybe it's like, a, like an end of days cult. They're trying to accomplish bringing about the apocalypse. I was trying to think of a pun for like pony and apocalypse, like aponicalypse, aponocalypse, apon, apon, apony clips, apony clips. There you go. Got it. No, that was awful. Uh, I didn't get it. Please, let's forget that. I'm just gonna move on to the next song because if I start dwelling on just the cult anthem too much, I think I'm just gonna drive myself crazy. This one is called the Super Duper Party Pony Song. And looking at this, it's the, the, the cheese guy. I can't remember his name, but I know he's voiced by Weird Al, right? Oh, I don't think so. Definitely Weird Al. I know so. <laughs> After all, the super duper party pony, that pony is me. I always well, knew that was the kind of pony I would be. I'm 99% sure that like him and Pinkie Pie end up together like a married couple or something. Like that. Maybe they even have kids by the finale. And 13 seconds into seeing his character, I'm just gonna say, I can see it. <laughs> it makes sense to me. Come on, ponies! Who here likes to party? His cutie muck is like a grilled cheese being split in half. Is, is, is his name like che Cheese Toasty or something? <laughs> You do, I can tell. When I was but this, I just realized, is like such whiplash from the last one. Like, this dude's actually genuinely happy and just being himself and not just like, we are so happy. Ever since I was a little pony, all I wanted to be was no one. But every pony told me, cheese, that fun just waste the day. <laughs> but when I do a party and I bust Pinky just seems like she's fangirling. And got into the group. You know it. <laughs> the super duper party pony. This is so cute. Someone who is just so themselves. And like, the thing is, when you are just so unabashedly yourself, like, you attract people who will like you too. Hey, good looking. Want some mayonnaise? My parties are all off the hook. I never plan them by the book. How is he floating on the pizza? Port of snacks made by your mom? How about a giant party bomb? <laughs> That's like, literally like, like, Pinkie Pie's party cannon. It's just a different version. The super duper party pony, that pony is Oh my me. god, how did all of those body parts coming in was freaky. Come on, kid, take it for a spin. Golly, thanks, mister. I mean, kind of a bop, though. Like, I just, I do kind of want to party with him. My pipe bites, wacky kites, and streamers in your mane. 
fizzy drinks are white. <laughs> like he keeps making it seem like such a kiddie party vibe, but I don't know, man. I feel like you get a couple drinks into this guy, he's gonna be crazy. You know that when she sandwich, you'll be party. She's sandwich. Okay, not even cheese toasty, just a sandwich. You are really a certified party party? That's oh, is she sad? Cause that's oh, that's so sad. Oh, that's depressing as hell. At least I know it ends up happy, okay? Oh my god. She like full on sad. Oh my god, she like flopped down on all. On her head fell too. Girl is going through it. I said there was whiplash between the last song and this one, and then at the end we got even more whiplash because it was like, hey, look at this happy, fun song where everything's great and everyone's just gonna go have a great time. But also, Pinky, yeah, she's just like wanting to die. She's gonna, okay, I guess I'll lie here and perish because I'm a useless horse that nobody loves or needs. <laughs> I mean, that seemed like the vibe. I don't think that. I want the best for Pinky. And like I said, at least I can take solace knowing that everything works out wonderfully for them. The next song is called Hope Shines Eternal, which is from Equestria Girls Legend of Everfree. I think I've done one or two songs from Legend of Everfree. I don't remember them to be honest. But of course I am definitely so excited to hear another one. I'm assuming this is a lyric video. Yeah, here we go. It's so bright! <laughs> What a cute beat. Also, tell me, like, right now, to make sure that I am not insane. It sounds like a Taylor Swift song, right? Like an early Taylor Swift song. Somewhere's a book with chapters still I don't even, oh, I was, <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't even recognize that singer. And then I, it occurred to me that they have the cutie marks there to show exactly who it is. Blank One of those songs where I get incredible harmonies between them all. Some pages fade while others are black. This is like really pretty already and such a beautiful melody. Oh, the down. Stop. Every time I'm trying to comment on something, something else happens. I loved the way the harmony kind of flowed down on that one. But then as I was thinking about that, we have a nice higher overlay from Applejack. So hitting me so good from every angle. Okay, sure, I can just be motivated and inspired. <laughs> These songs just have an incredibly unique ability to make me happy, and it's like, I'm happy about that, of course. I'm, I'm totally fine being happy, but I'm just so not used to the switch. It feels like it's like, oh, hey, uh, you know, you were dwelling on all these weird details about the last ones, but you know what this is? Happiness injected into your veins. <laughs> So beautiful, man. But... Oh, I didn't expect the change. When you're here with me. Oh, I love the cute platonic friendship songs that we get. Literally every time a sentence ends now, I'm so excited for those harmonies. <laughs> masterfully composed, my god. This is like a bit of a bop, like my foot is tapping. I love, love that like drum roll build. It brings such a great texture to everything. Is that like fiddle? I think so, I'm so here for it. I just can't help but smile, man. Oh, they're mixing up those layers. Oh my god, it's so sweet. I'm just gonna die. Why is it so ridiculously freaking cute? And what's impressive as well is that it is ridiculously freaking cute while also being an actually good, solid, dope-ass song that had such great rhythm, incredible melodies, incredible harmonies, and made me forget about all the troubles of the world and just sit back and think about how lovely they are and how much I want to be part of their friend group. What, am I expected to sit here, listen to that, hear all that singing, and not just be insanely jealous? Let me into the main six. I know I am not horse-like at all, but I don't care. I want in. Oh wait, they're Equestria Girls. I don't have to be a horse. Anyway, this next song is called Apples to the Core. So uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb uh, and assume it's about the, the, the Macintosh family, I believe they're called. No, I don't even know. Do they have last names? There's like Big Mac, Granny Smith, Applejack, 
Sweetie Belle? No. Oh, what is Pinky doing that? I thought it was just going to be a family song. Come on, Apple. It's so Come country. <laughs> it's so silly, but I'm just a sucker for it. Oh, yep. we've the road up. It's so southern. Oh my god. And yet it still makes me bounce. Cross the pony nation from Equestria and B. Whatever that like drum is, it honestly kind of even sounds like a timpani. It's so subtle and in the background, but just adds this really cool vibe to it. I mean, I guess I was gonna say it feels like a marching sound, but that's a precisely what it's meant to be. We're apples forever, apples together. Uh, so what's Pinky doing? I mean, maybe she's looking because she doesn't really have that much of a family. Face the weather, we're apples oh, wow. Whoa. How did I not see that? There's no place that I'd rather be. I would like absolutely die if Pinkie Pie just joined in singing, but with a very, very, very Southern accent. It's sweet how positive and loving they are. We're apples forever, apples. Yo, how is Big Mac jumping like that when he's attached to the cart? No matter what comes, we will face the weather. Actually, hearing Big Mac's deep voice underneath is a great layer to the harmonies. <laughs> oh, I love Granny. We're here for each other through it's so freaking sweet. You know, sometimes the MLP songs can get a little bit sad or depressing. It really depends on the episode. But the ones we've had so far today, I guess other than the first one where everyone was just like brainwashed or whatever, have been so lovely and positive and fun and uplifting. I'm gonna be walking away from this video just happy to be alive. I realized that the way I said that made it seem like I wasn't happy to be alive when I started filming. I was, but even more so. <laughs> Is she, oh, she is gonna sing. Wow. Girl, what a damn compliment. She's literally inky pie. And she's like, you're more fun than the color pink. <laughs> oh, she's so sweet. She's like wanting to join them. God, amazing sound. Oh, wow, well, that's sad, but, well, they'll face it because they're apples to the core. Well, what else can I say? There's nothing. All I have to say is yes, exactly what I said before. Still stands, cute as shit. Don't know how to deal with it. It's making me feel so happy. I wonder if the last song is going to make me feel the same, although I think it might be more in the inspired vein. Just going based off the title. It's called We'll Make Our Mark, and I'm guessing it's about the Cutie Mark Crusaders. Okay, Crusaders, back to the- Hold it. I mean, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> Running of ideas. Are you kidding me, Crusaders? We can do better than that. Ah, oh, she's so motivating. We've been searching for cutie marks for a while now. I actually, like, I mean, you know, I assume that they get their cutie marks by the end of the show, but I have no clue what they are. Trying to find out how we fit in. I love their whole, like, journey of self-discovery. Aww. Don't give in. Like we've tried so many ways, but we'll just keep trying. We'll make our mark. One so, way or another, we'll make so I guess this whole video is just me getting gorgeous harmonies. The ultimate reward <laughs> of our cutie marks. Aww. I like that they just keep trying. I mean, they might be like demotivated and frustrated sometimes, which is, you know, genuine and real. But because they're a group and rely on each other and they all want it so bad, they just keep trying and I love it. What was that I said about this song probably making me inspired? So what do you say, Crusaders? Want to just focus on helping others find their cutie marks? Yeah! Aww, that's cute. Wait, did they get their cutie marks because they're focusing on helping other people? Me saying I didn't know what their cutie marks were. What happened? What's going on? It's your cutie marks. Aww. They're amazing. Oh, Diamond Tiara is actually being nice. Oh, like they got Crusader cutie marks. Oh. What the hell? 
that is so freaking cute. And I'm so glad they took it in that direction because they could have gone a whole bunch of ways with the conclusion of their story. And this is so sweet because they all had such an impact on each other. They all want to be in each other's lives. And the idea of their calling being shifting their focus to helping other people find theirs is just so it's adorable. We were searching for cutie marks. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna hear Happy singing about them finding it already. So many ways we tried before, but we kept on trying more. <sighs> I love this. I love this so much. I'm so happy for them. And their journey here is never really done. Aww. It's an ongoing journey of self-growth. This is so sweet. I am dying. And they're so, oh my god, the coordination of their marks is adorable and I just, I've always wanted the best for them and I'm just so glad that it worked out this way. Oh, sugar cube. If mom and dad were here, they'd be so proud of you. Oh my god, that's so sad though. Now go on and party with your pal. <laughs> the CUNY mark party. Oh, this is so fun, my god, it's so sweet, what the hell? You've inspired every pony I might cry, what the hell? You've inspired me too. <laughs> Hearing that positivity is so freaking gorgeous. Oh my god, the support they're getting is uh, so lovely. Well, what do you think, Crusaders? Were these cutie marks <laughs> totally worth waiting for? God. <laughs> the flashbacks, no. It's so nostalgic. I love them. I'm so happy for them. I'm just happy now. Why? <laughs> like I said, I was expecting inspiration, but this is just bonkers. Oh, the giant photo. And the high notes? Okay. Well, damn, I expected many things. I expected happiness, I expected inspiration. I didn't expect to get a little bit emotional. It was just overall so freaking sweet, so beautiful. I completely loved the sentiment and the previous few songs were just setting me up because they kept getting happier and happier and making me be like, boy, am I great to be alive. And then kablam, this thing hits me with the ultimate sweetness, so much emotion, and I don't know how to handle it. So I just look angry now. <laughs> I'm good, it's fine. That was really nice. I'm glad that that was what we ended on. Yeah, like I said at the start of this video, I was expecting the songs to blow me away, to impress me, and they have, and they've made me feel emotions that I was not ready for. So that's it. That's the video. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you being here and I'll see you next time.